Welcome to Flashback. The World Championship quarterfinals came to a close, and four teams claimed their spots in the Shanghai semifinals. Let's see how it went down. The quarterfinals kicked off with a showdown between the LCK's number one and three seeds, Longju Gaming and Samsung Galaxy. It was a close first game, but after Samsung took a 4v5 fight at Baron, they smashed Longju. Samsung kept the momentum up as Crown rocked BDD in game two. Crown's gonna have the damage, King Me, a quadra kill for Samsung's mid laner. And Ruler obliterated tournament favorites Longju in game three, sealing a massive upset for Samsung and their place in the semifinals. The Rocket jump forward, Ruler wants a third. They're gonna get a stun on Prey. He is to lose his life as well. And there is nothing left to stop Samsung Galaxy. Then, Europe's underdogs Misfits Gaming took on three-time world champions, SK Telecom T1. After SKT stomped Game 1, Ignar's Blitzcrank in Game 2 took Faker by surprise and pulled Misfits back into the series. Game 2, they keep going forward! It was 25 minutes long and they oh, all Faker high. pulled straight from the Valkyrie! This drew a Blitzcrank ban from SKT, forcing Ignar onto another pocket pick, Leona. Misfits pushed SKT to the brink when Power of Evil Shockwave caught three. And finally, when Maxlore's perfectly timed smite stole Baron, they were only one win away from the semifinals. Looking to be the first team ever to accomplish what no team has done before as they take SKT to game point. But the reigning champs wouldn't give up that easily. One sick realm warp helped SK Telecom push the series to a deciding game five. The damage is just too much, and SKT take the game under their control. Both teams fought hard to survive in the final game, but a teleport flank from Huni crushed Misfits and sent SK Telecom to the World Semifinals for the third straight year. Next up, Fnatic took on the hometown favorites, Royal Never Give Up. RNG made Game 1 look easy, but Fnatic fought back in Game 2, building a huge lead until MLXG stole the Baron and sparked a dramatic comeback for RNG. MLXG takes it down! Game 3 looked like it would end in about 28 minutes, but a clutch kill by Soaz saved Fnatic's Nexus. And then, Reckless silenced the Chinese crowd when he rocket jumped and flashed for Uzi. From there, it took almost 15 minutes of careful sieging, but Fnatic finally closed the game to keep their semifinals hopes alive. Are you not entertained? Fnatic win game one! Game four started off like how it would end, with both teams walking away bruised and battered. The interrupt, first blood's available, picked up by Broxa! from MLXG, he's going to survive! But while MLXG managed to escape with one HP, Fnatic weren't so lucky. Zhao Hu and Uzi were simply too much to handle, and they carried Royal Never Give Up to the semi-finals. The last quarterfinal featured a battle between China and North America's third seed play-in teams, Team WE and Cloud9. After a back and forth game one that ultimately went in Team WE's favor, the North Americans fired back in game two when Jensen's shockwave tied up the series. Gonna try and get a shot and Jensen assassinates Mystic. The teams traded blowout wins when Sneaky dominated Team WE in 24 minutes. But then, 957 returned the favor with a stomp of their own in game four. Beast is all good from 957. In the final game, Cloud9 picked up the kills early. Disaster for Team WE in that bottom lane. But it was Team WE who took the tempo advantage, and after they picked up Baron and a key kill onto Sneaky, it was game over for Cloud9. They weather a brutal storm, and Waterly will push themselves to a historic semifinal. And just like that, the semifinal matchups are locked in. The games begin in Shanghai at 3.30 p.m. on Saturday, October 28th, when Royal Never Give Up take on SK Telecom T1. And on Sunday, October 29th, where Team WE clashes against Samsung Galaxy. But remember to double check what time that is for you, or tune in to the rebroadcast later on instead. Because with a trip to the finals on the line, you don't want to miss it.